Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Cheyenne. If you're not, thanks for coming back. So in today's vlog, we are, it's clients all day long. And I have a little break by design at around three because I have to go pick something up. And also I have a little lemon order coming today. So if that's something you wanna see, not sure, probably gonna show you anyway, since you're already here and I'm gonna have the order. It's a pretty exciting order. It's got some stuff in it that I'm pretty happy to get. Um, I told myself if I was working out more consistently, I could treat myself to more cool workout clothes that I don't need. So that's what I'm doing. I can't believe how bright the shirt is today on this camera. The sun is out. It is like minus 30 again. But by the looks of the forecast, this should be our last minus 30, wow, you're a long ways away, minus 30 morning. Yay for that. I don't know. I hope it's our last minus 30 morning. It has been so cold. But just to try to make myself feel a little better last night, I like, let me see, self-tanned my face. You can't really tell, but it's fine. <laughs> But maybe as the day goes on, right? Who knows? It's probably gonna make me break out, but here we are. I'll have a tan, it doesn't matter. What else do I have going on? I have an order coming. Probably Monday might be in this vlog, might not. I needed more of the <clears throat> OPI table towels. I actually went and got, what are these called? <laughs> Winfrey like shop towels and cut them last night. This is old school for me. This is what I used to do to wipe my coat brush. Um, I think I touched on it in the last vlog, but I totally ran out of the table towels that I used. So these are the answer for right now. And I'll probably use through that package of them because I don't want to waste them. I thought I would vlog today. Like I said, there's really not much going on, but I just thought it would be fun to bring you guys with me for the not much. I have some cuticle oil for retail right now that I made and I'm really disappointed in it because it turned out so beautiful. I love it so, so much, but the dropper bottles are leaking out somehow. When I set them down, there's a ring around the bottom of oil. So I'm selling them discounted um, to my clients because they still use them. And if they're taking them home and just sitting them, like the one I'm using is not leaking out terribly bad. It just seems to be when they're brand new. I don't know, it must have something to do with the top of the dropper. Uh, so anyway, <laughs> and that really sucks because I was super excited about them. I loved the little recipe I found, tweaked it a little bit for me made them lavender scented. I don't love lavender all the time, but the doTERRA, is it doTERRA? Jamie, correct me if I'm wrong. The doTERRA lavender that I have was, lo I loved it so much. So I used that. I actually have some rosemary oil and really wanted to use that as well, but it smells very like camphor-ish. And even though I love that, I didn't think that would be like a crowd pleaser for my clients, so I didn't make any of that, but I might make one for myself for home. Lately, my hands have been terrible and I'm not picking at them. Like <laughs> normally my hands are terrible because I'm picking at them, but I have this big crack and it just won't go away. So today I'm going to try to make sure that I'm putting cuticle oil on under my gloves and wearing it through the service. So that might help. I saw tanner all over my hands and I cut my finger, I'm not gonna show you, Cut my finger the other night with a knife, um, chopping stuff up for supper. It is a very sore, so I thought a little bit of cuticle oil would probably help it too. My client is probably like just about here. I also had a little break yesterday. Yesterday? Yesterday? My intention was to do I have a whole album of saved stuff that I wanted to do for like March content for Instagram. And I haven't, I haven't been doing it. Like I literally have these nails right here prepped to do, to do nail art on and didn't do them. So I really want to do some content. It's probably not going to happen today because I do, oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. I do have errands to run. 
We didn't sleep a bit last night because <laughs> those of you that know Molly, <laughs> she's scared of everything. Um, but last night, so normally she shakes and cries and like really goes through it. When the water softener runs, she's literally the only person that can hear it. You have to go downstairs to see if it's running, but she can hear it, of course, and freaks her right out, and it usually runs at like three in the morning, so we end up up from, and it runs for two hours, so we end up up at three. Uh, but I don't know what it was last night. The only thing we can figure out is that she's getting uh, freaked out with the house cracking and snapping. Well, we live in New Brunswick. It is minus 30 today. It's gonna be plus five and raining tomorrow. Like, our house makes noise. So, anyway, we finally just let her look after it herself the third time. The first time, we, like, picked her up, put her back on the bed. She was laying on the floor, like, shaking and crying and just being all pitiful. It was terrible. So, of course, you bring her up on the bed, and you're laying with her, and she's, you're soothing her. And, anyway, sometimes she'll jump back off the bed, and the the third time I let her jump off the bed and stay off the bed and she took herself to the living room and put herself to bed on the couch so that really sucks but my god we can't just stay up every night if the house is gonna snap and crack it's just, just not feasible so she's home taking herself a little couch nap because she's tired that was a long tangent for my yawn I'll be back later We'll talk about all the things. Maybe I'll take you with me on my errands. Probably gonna get another coffee while I'm out. There's a new little coffee shop in town that has a lot of like uh, vegetarian, vegan, gluten-free, dairy-free. They have a lot of options. And uh, they have some local stuff. And when they first opened, I was in a couple of times and I just haven't been back in. It's kind of one of those things where my house is this way and they're that way. They're like two seconds down the road. But when I leave here, even if I'm leaving early, I might have good intentions, but I'm like, mm, I'm going home. So I always end up, I don't drive by it, but I do have to drive by it today. So it would be super cool. And they have a morning glory muffin that I would like to try. And they have like quiches and soups and wraps and pizza sometimes and like cakes and all of the things and then all of the drinks so i might stop there me i want to start like taking you with me more but sometimes it's hard sometimes you forget sometimes if you only have 20 minutes you just grab your coat and run out of the salon right but anyway i'm gonna stop okay later hey guys welcome back it's a sunday you can probably tell but I promised you guys a Lulu little haul. And here it is, okay. So aren't these so cool? I love these so much. So they're the Wonder Unders, and they're the 28 inch, and they are the high rise. The trouble with these is, it's the ribbed Luxtreme, which is fine, but they fit different than the regular Luxtreme. So they're a bit tight in my regular size, but we're gonna work with it and it's fine and we're gonna keep them. They're kind of beautiful. It's the first time, let me get my face out of it. It's the first time that I have bought anything but black and I just felt like number one, these would have the dog hair. Number two, they would be mildly forgiven, forgiving. And number three, they would be super cute with like, you know, everything else black. Because we know I'm not gonna go about into wearing a whole bunch of color on top. I also got these. They are also camo, which I realized after I got them that I had two different camo prints. These are the Track That Short five inch lined. So if you don't like shorts, if you hate shorts, if you hate the way they feel, if you hate the way they fit, you hate the way they move and the way they wear and the way they are when you walk in them and you get the picture like if you hate shorts you want the lined ones and splurge for the lululemon lululemon lined ones are the ones that you want i found a dupe pair at walmart a decade ago and bought them and wished i would have bought every every one that they had but i didn't so i do actually have a equally gorgeous pair of walmart ones that are exactly like this but they don't seem to be available anymore. I look every year for them. Um, but these are worth the money. Like if you can get, I always size up in them 
I mean, I guess that's up to you, but I always size up in them and I love those shorts so much. So the other thing that is gonna be worth the splurge, if you consider it a splurge, I do. And I think all of these things except for this came off of the We Made Too Much, I think. Anyway, it's not like I order a lot and not like I owe anybody an explanation if I do. But this is the On Like a Cloud bra. It's a BC, like B slash C cup. I got the size 10. I am really wide around the rib cage and I have a really, really hard time with these. I have a size eight right now that I'm selling on Marketplace. I took the tags off it, might have washed it, definitely didn't wear it. Um, it's just too tight around the rib cage. So I got this one. It is, it has a double strap in the back, um, but I need the regular straps in the back. I can't handle the racer back or the crossed over. Um, it just hurts my neck. Like if it goes over those muscles, it's just a no for me. It's almost like wearing a crooked sock. I can't do it. But love this. There is no removable pads. Also love that, which means they don't move around. It just has, what do they call it? It says it's made for yoga, light support, sweat wicking, molded foam cup, super white, light weight. I can't talk. So that is what I got. Again, this worth the splurge. I adore this and will get it in more colors regardless of the price because I think a good bra, whether it's for workout or whether it's for every day, is just necessary and if it means you have to pay more for it, I'm cool with that. I mean, it is what it is. But that is my Lululemon haul. I am currently making craft dinner, waiting for the water to boil because I really wanted potatoes and I was gonna cook them and then cut them up, put some spices on them, put them in the oven, roast them. I'm so freaking hungry right now. So I'm making craft dinner and I'm going to... I know, I know. Hey guys, welcome back. So I wanted to show you what I got in my order. I just gotta clean up the box. Was dirty. <laughs> So let me move you closer. So I got a Maritime Beauty order. I normally don't order from Maritime Beauty uh, anymore. I used to. It used to be one of the only places I ordered because I was using Creative Nail Design, c and acrylic. So I ordered all the time from them. But I don't use that anymore, so I don't order from them anymore. Anyway, that was a long story. So I got the Expert Touch towels. We talked about this. So I'm gonna stash these for right now, but I'll cut them up later. And I'll probably just cut them all at the same time and be done with it. I did get a couple of new colors while I was at it. Because why not? I got, yeah, I don't know what to call that. It's from Lack It. And it is a corally color. People are always looking for corals especially coming up soon. This is Robin's Egg. Very much Tiffany blue to me. Anyway, everybody sees that color differently. I find the aquas, turquoises, teals, Robin's Egg, whatever, and the corals, people just see them differently. Uh, somebody will want like a coral or a pink or an orange or whatever and I show it to them and they're like, no, that's not it at all. And I'm like, well, it looks to me. Not to say that I'm right and they're wrong, but we all just see things so differently. And I got Irish Mist, which I truly felt like I had before, but maybe, maybe my little next door neighbor has it and I've used it from her and not, not had it myself. So you can kind of see the color there. It's like a grassy light green so that's super cool and i got a rose gold replacement of the uh, specialty this is the simply from on vogue and it's um a glitter so if you have clients that really like that that one finger accent nail and they're really into the rosy golds you want this one it's really nice and it will get used a lot it's worth every penny. It's really kind of inexpensive. And yeah, on Vogue makes it. So the gel polishes that I just showed you are all from Lacket. 
Um, they're kind of inexpensive as well, which is nice. And they're close, like they come from my local distributor. I don't have a ton of them because I tend to use mainly glitter bells. Uh, but I probably have a dozen up there and I've just added three more to the collection. So that's kind of cool. So I'm going to put these in the pile to be swatched, uh, which is growing and still hasn't been swatched. So that's fun. Uh, I need to do that at some point. Won't be today. But that's my order. I made a little reel of it as I was unpacking it. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, you could go pop over there. Uh, I kind of, it's weird. It's a weird go-between between, between vlogging and making reels because I find when I'm trying to make reels, I'm not vlogging and vice versa. And that's what it is, right? Okay. Also, uniform. I'm wearing the exact same outfit as always. I was not wearing this outfit this morning. I was wearing something else, but I put my iced coffee in the container that I bring it in and I screwed like the big top on it, but didn't make sure that the little top was shut and I gave it a shake just to mix up the creamer and you know, so we can all guess what happened there. So it was all over me and the floor and the counter and my book and everything. So I went straight to the laundry room, <laughs> stripped off what I was wearing and put on the uniform. So I'm just gonna stick with this. That's what I get for trying to wear something different. Okay, I'll probably touch base again when I'm cutting up those, uh, just to show you like what size I kind of cut them up in and how I do that. Um, it works perfectly on top of my Valentino, the size that I make them for wiping my brushes. Again, if you guys have something else that you wipe your brushes on, I would love to know because I'm always into trying new things. So that's it for right now. I'll talk to you guys later. Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. Okay, so I just finished filming this reel and I thought I'd just let you guys in on it. So this is the nail. Cute little guy. I was just, it wasn't for a reel. Um, I wasn't necessarily planning on filming a reel with it, but I thought if I had the nail art made, I may as well use it for content. So I did, but I, showed all of the glitter bells unbelievable gels that i used and then just the product so i just made the reel but i found a new kind of instagram hack today and i wanted to share it with you guys so i found this online and i didn't save it so i can't credit who i learned it from how would you even credit it i'm sure it goes back to instagram itself but anyway i did not save it but i want to show you guys okay so i'm just posting I'm just posting the reel. I'm gonna give it a second to continue posting. Sometimes they take a second. I'm gonna set that aside. I'm just gonna tell you which gel polishes I used for that, if you happen to see it. I didn't put them in the uh, caption because it was a quick one and sometimes they don't if it's super quick. So I used all Glitter Bells unbelievable gels. God, I find they're wicked to paint with. I love them to paint with. So that is all I used here. The base, you know what? The base is a Glitter Bells gel polish. I put it on there like two weeks ago and I really don't know which one it is because I feel like it's discolored a little bit since I put it on there because I didn't top coat it, but I just went with it today. So the base is just a neutral pink. For the design I used Unforgettable and I Love You, which are both pinks. So a lighter one and a bright one. I used black and white. And I also used Greedy Green and Purple Party. Um, my camera's getting... Okay, I totally just had to switch my memory cards mid-sentence because that one filled up. So I think that you guys ended up getting a list of the colors that I used. So, okay, I have those. I have the nail art design. I showed you that. My reel is posted. So I'm gonna show you this Instagram. I'm gonna call it a hack because it seems a little hack worthy. I would love to try to show you on the screen. I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to do that. I'm going to screen grab right now off of my screen and I'm entering it. Okay, so what you're doing obviously is going into your Instagram. You're coming into your own profile 
and you are holding, let me take this glove off. You are holding on to one of your highlights. Doesn't matter which one, whichever one that you, sorry, I was staring at the screen. Whichever one, now I'm all like freaking out about memory space. So I'm going to hold on to the first one, which is Glitter Bells. So this is like Glitter Bells colors, uh, different Glitter Bells products that I've had over time. I'm gonna hold it. When I hold it, I can delete highlight, edit highlight, send to convert to real, and copy highlight link. Let's convert to real. So when I convert to real, it thinks about it for a minute. It's syncing it to audio. I'm gonna shut the audio off, but it's giving me a reel of my highlights. I don't want to use this because it's old, this one, but that's what it's giving me. And then I can use the bottom arrow to carry on. I need to get that music off of there. I can use that bottom area arrow to carry on and make a reel out of that. So I think I'm going to actually make a reel out of that as well because I think everyone should know that. I think it's a super cool hack. Again, I just watched it and didn't save it. I wish I had it, but I didn't, so I can't really say who I learned it from. Uh, but if I do see it again, sometimes that stuff pops up twice, I'll pop it down below, or pop it on the screen, as to where I've seen that, because I know you guys sometimes really like to see the source for things. But that's the hack. I am working tomorrow. We are supposed to get a massive snowstorm slash rain slash you know, it's March, uh, so it's hard to say how long that will be or how that will go, so I figured I would end the vlog here and um, take everything home with me so that the camera and memory card doesn't get stuck here. And then I'm working on some new things for you guys. So we still have the Will I Buy It series. So if there's any other, I put it on my Instagram, but if there are any other brands that you want me to look at for the will I buy it, like right now, I tend to go to OPI, CND, Artistic, you know, for new collections. I think I've done like Lacket on Vogue. But if there's any other brands, even if it's like a little indie brand, like a little new brand, a little kind of private brand that's just starting, let, let me know because I would love to feature their will I buy it in my video. Pop it down below or find me on Instagram on this handle and send it to me. Uh, sometimes we get into like this kind of mainstream popular media and we're not seeing other things. Like I think Red Iguana is coming out with more and more products. That's interesting. I would love to take a look at that maybe. Um, somebody had messaged me when I asked on my Instagram and said the Beamy products, which I love so far. I don't have very many of them, um, but I did a while ago get the red collection. If you've been here for a minute, you've probably heard me rave about it because I love it. Uh, so their red collection came out. Kathy, when did that come out? Was it before Valentine's Day? Anyway, it was beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So anyway, that being said, I'm rambling. I don't think there's anything else I had to say. There's not much else going on. I was just making my nail throne order and then my client came and I stopped. So I should get back on that train and get that ordered because shipping from BC to New Brunswick takes a minute, um, especially now for some reason. So anyway, I, it's always a surprise when it gets here. I never know what's in it. Anyway, okay, that's it. I'll see you guys later. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Let me know down below what you think and see you later.